Welcome one and welcome everybody, okay, to the People's Channel, a sentimental place, Orchids for Dummies. And in today's video, baby, I am going to be sharing with you my summer fertilizing recipe step by step new beginners it's gonna be a complete guide so you got to stay tuned welcome back pal pal so some of the things that you will need today to water your orchids like me is going to be two gallons of pure brain water or distilled water or reverse osmosis but some type of pure water for your indoor phalaenopsis orchids in particular you want to have a towel you want to have a fan okay and the um, fertilizer that I'm using is going to be some Epsom salt for magnesium sulfate and I'm going to use my Better Grow Orchid Plus okay with the minor and macro elements and you want to have some measuring something to do the measuring okay so fab pelts please get you something that is similar to this or even smaller but once you have over 20 orchids it's kind of hard to water them in the kitchen sink. So get you something that is going to be bigger that you can put a lot of orchids in and a lot of water in at the same time. So stay tuned. And welcome on back, fab pals. So you have your um, gallon of water. The first thing that I'm going to do is mix it up, but you're not going to just throw it all in there at the same time. This is how I like to do it. I like to get my Epsom salt magnesium sulfate out first. And we're going to use one tablespoon, okay? One tablespoon of magnesium sulfate. <laughs> so once you put the um, Epsom salt in, the next thing you're going to do is shake it up, shake it really good, and give it one or two minutes to make sure that it's completely dissolved before we add the Better Grow Orchid Plus, okay? So while we are giving it a minute or two to dissolve, we're going to go ahead and get the orchids that's indoors that is going to get the first round of water. So stay tuned because it's a rhyme and rhythm to the way that I water all of my indoor orchids. So you got to stay tuned. You got my to. orchid collection. I have about one, two or three orchids that is going to be in complete moss. The ones that are in the complete moss, let's go ahead and bring them to the kitchen as they will not receive fertilization. Stay tuned. Welcome on back, baby. Now, these are the only orchids that I have in my care that is going to be in complete moss. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put a little water in. If you don't know how to water orchids differently, I have a video. I will leave it in a video or a playlist at the end of this video, but new beginners, you're going to water your orchids differently that's in different types of media, okay? You're not going to water it all the same. This is going to be media that I'm only going to fertilize once a month, okay? For foul pals, once a month, baby. We're not going to over-fertilize the sphagnum moss anymore. We don't do that. We don't do it. But all right, foul pals, as you can see, I'm putting the water in there. I'm gonna let it um, drain like I'm gonna do the rest of the orchids, but you gotta stay tuned, baby, stay tuned. But those are the ones that you want to water first, your orchids that's growing in complete moss, okay? And you also wanna make sure that those orchids are healthy, that they don't have any type of disease that can be spreaded and give your other orchids OTD. Orchid transmitted diseases, girl. So, Val Pals, after I have watered them, 
The next thing that I do is place them on a towel that will absorb, um, you know, the extra water from the bottom of the pot. That's how you handle that. And as far as if you make a mistake to get any water in the crown or anything of that nature, that's why you want to have a high blowing fan on them just to make sure for a few minutes as you water the other orchids. Come back, bad pals. Next, I'm going to add um, just a little bit, one fourth, this is a teaspoon, but I'm gonna add like one fourth of a teaspoon to the water. As you can see, it's making sure that we don't have over a teaspoon. Just like that, we can put that on in there. And then shake it up, the water will turn blue. It will turn blue for you. But it's not going to be black. It's not going to be anything that's really, really dark. If your water that you fertilize your orchids with, if it does not look clear like this, boo boo kitty, honey, you did something wrong. You did something wrong. Check out my water, my first water culture video. Honey, I was giving them orchids some black fertilizer. Put <laughs> half of the water inside of this one gallon watering can. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my orchids inside. Okay, I don't put all of the water in at first because um, some of my orchids have packaging peanuts or um, some type of um, perlite at the bottom which causes the media to float and for the orchid to come right out of the pot. So what I choose to do is just have a little in there and then put the rest on top. You would get a chance to see it. You would get a chance to see so the rest I'm going to go ahead and put in here. Now we are ready to start getting our orchids. Your healthiest of orchids are going to be the ones to get the water first, okay? Stay Welcome back, pal pals. So like I said, once you get the water out, you wanna make sure, check the crown, make sure that you don't have any excess water. If you have any water in the crown that you're not able to blow out, use the tip of a paper towel to get that extra water off, okay? That's also in addition why I am putting them on a paper, um, I mean, a, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's why I'm putting them on a towel, okay, in front of a fan. Now, Foul Pals, um, I just want to let you know that this is not how I water them every week, okay? And keep in mind the fertilizing recipe that I gave you. I give it to them um, on Sundays, okay? Now, if I'm washing them out through me at week, I might give them fertilizers, but it's going to be a weak dose. But, Foul Pals, I want you to just give them regular water, okay, to keep you to being on the safe okay. side. So, I have... I have taken all of the plants out. So now what I'm going to do with the remain of water is pour it back into this jug and repeat that process. Now, new beginners, I want you to keep in mind that it's about four weeks in the month, okay? So in those four weeks, what we are going to do is the first week we are, um, you see I changed fertilized all with Epsom salt in 2020, 20. Okay, so this is the week of the 14th. Let's say we started on this Sunday. The first um, week, I'm going to give them um, cow mag and Epsom salt, okay? You have to stay tuned for that video. The second week, I'm going to give them the fertilizer with the 2020 and the Epsom salt. I'm also going to do it on the third week. The fourth week, I'm going to flush out my pot and I am repeating the process for the 90 days that we have for summer. Okay, so this is the time you want to go ahead and make sure that you are giving your babies all that you need. Now, remember, midweek, if you choose to fertilize them, not using tap water, make it a very small dosage, okay? So if you were giving it a tablespoon of Epsom salt, I would give it just a pinch, not even a tablespoon, but a teaspoon. And I would give it just a pinch of the Better Grow, Grow Plus. I'm trying to keep you guys from over fertilizing, okay? Well, if you like this video, give it a like, okay? Share it with the world and subscribe to the People's Channel. Orchids for Dummies. I'm in here with you guys. I'm in here with you. 
I thank you so much for staying tuned. Until next time.